Hi guys and welcome to Strength the Universe. Over the past few years I've seen many debates about the equipped bench press, the most recent of which happened to take place in the comments section of my most recent video. Opinions on the benefit of bench shirts vary wildly, with some even believing that the bench press of the equipped world record holder Jimmy Kolb is superior to that of the raw all-time record holder Julius Maddox. In this video we will look at what the best equipped powerlifters in the world are benching with and without equipment. And the evidence starts with Tony Carlino, who achieved a personal record in the raw bench press of 229kg in 2022, but just one year prior to this he'd managed an equipped bench press of 492. We follow Tony with the 11th highest equipped bench presser of all time, Ryan Canelli who achieved a very impressive raw bench press of 295 kilograms in 2010, but two years prior to this he hit an equipped bench press of 488 kilograms. Yeah! The ultimate example is that of Bill Gillespie, who achieved a raw bench press of 237 kilograms before going on to achieve an equipped bench press of 512 kilograms just one year later. The final example is that of the current all-time equipped world record holder Jimmy Cobb, who achieved a 612 kilogram or 1,350 pound equipped bench press in competition earlier this year. Jimmy is currently pressing 405 pounds for 20 touch and go reps in training with the use of a reverse grip and a limited range of motion. We can compare this to Larry Wheels, who hit 20 touch and go reps with 441 pounds and has a best conventional raw bench press of 295 kilograms or 650 pounds. And I would estimate that that puts Jimmy's conventional raw bench press somewhere around the 600 pound mark. This chart shows that elite equipped bench presses can gain an average of 110%. And while these gains are huge, we need to remember that most people will not be able to obtain the same level of benefit. This is because the advantage gained will depend on many factors, including the athlete's anatomy, the tightness or fit of the shirt, range of motion, flexibility, and finally the athlete's experience and technique. And this is something that some of the best raw bench pressers in the world have not been able to adapt to. That's it for today's video, but please leave a comment letting me know what you think of the equipped bench press. Finally, thank you for watching and I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please consider hitting like, sharing the video and subscribing for more. Thank you.